about that in the next half hour. Diane? Okay, Sam, thanks. Well, a billionaire has taken your side over taxes and fairness. The country's second wealthiest man, Warren Buffett, was on Capitol Hill yesterday, and he wants to know why he pays a smaller percentage in taxes than his receptionist. He's even offered a million dollars to any of his billionaire pals who prove him wrong about their percentage and their receptionist percentages. But mostly they're in hiding over the issue, so we decided to make some phone calls, too, on his behalf. Bianca Gold has been on the story. Good Vienna. morning. Imagine a billionaire paying less than his receptionist as far as percentages go. Buffett wanted to know who hands over more of their income to the IRS, a billionaire or a receptionist. So we did a simple experiment using himself and his staff as guinea pigs. He compared how much he pays in terms of a percentage of his salary to what his employees pay. And what Buffett uncovered touched off a battle of the billionaires. Equality of opportunity has been on the decline. Billionaire investor Warren Buffett, the second richest man in America, has a bone to pick with the tax collector. Frankly, an economy where my receptionist pays a lot higher tax rate than, than I do uh, does not strike me as a just economy. He crunched the numbers. Buffett pays 18 percent to the feds. His receptionist, like the rest of his staff, pays nearly twice that, 33 percent. A lopsided equation that put Buffett in a Robin Hood frame of mind. I see nothing wrong with those who have been blessed by this society to to give a larger portion of their income to the society than somebody that's that's working very, very hard just to make ends meet. Now he's challenging the elite members of the Forbes 400 list to do the calculations for themselves, take their tax rates and compare it to that of their receptionists. It's causing quite a stir among Buffett's fellow billionaires, as we found out when we offered to help them do the math. We must uh, regretfully decline. Unfortunately, he has decided to decline. He'd like to decline the interview. Thank you anyway. More than 25 billionaires, from Turner to Murdoch, Bloomberg to Cuban, declined to talk. But some of them did sound off to Forbes magazine, suggesting Buffett should stick to his area of expertise, calling his ideas grossly simplistic, even speculating that maybe Buffett's going senile. So why are they all ganging up on him? I think that the worry is they go on the record, other people, rich people do with this, that it puts them in a position of having to cheerlead for something that they're not entirely sure they're comfortable with. We decided to call in the tax truth squad. What about his theory that a billionaire should pay a higher tax rate than a receptionist? Is that just grossly simplistic? I don't think it's a gross oversimplification at all. The richest families in our country pay a lower tax rate than the people who take care of their children, who teach in their schools, or who would put out a fire if their house were to start to burn. And what about that 55% estate tax billionaires pay when they die? Doesn't that level the playing field? I think if you asked uh, most Americans if they could pay their taxes after they die, they'd all be uh, happy to do so. And later this week, Congress could vote to repeal the estate tax. A post-mortem tax relief Buffett says is virtually worthless. You would have to attend 200 funerals to be at one at which the decedent's estate owed a tax. Buffett says if any billionaire out there can do the math in his own office and prove him wrong, then Buffett will donate $1 million to the charity of choice. So far, his closest friends have taken him up on the deal, and no one has been given a million dollars just yet. Yeah. Right. He is, and you know what that, that we were talking about that estate tax. He doesn't actually have to pay a big one because, of course, he's giving the majority of his money away to charity. He's a good guy. All right, Bianca. Thank you so much, and Warren.